hello again it's angie um this time i'm going to do a video using a couple of my own stencils this is going to be trial and error as always um see where we go again i'm going to be using these lovely aurora flakes this time i'm using the blue ice aurora flakes you can see there super sparkler super messy as we learned from the last video um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to use some of this gilding polish. This one is called Blue Wave and it's got a lovely, it's got a kind of a, a greenish tint to it, but it's got a sheen. Very pretty. These are good because you can you pull out the little stopper at the top and that's your sponge for moving your creams around. That's lovely, lovely creamy polish. So I'm going to give that a go today. Um, right, I'm going to use these Cosmic Shimmer uh, Colour Cloud Blending inks. I'm going to be using a little bit of the white. Rose Blush. This one mainly, which is the Electric Blue. And Decadent Bamboo, kind of a greeny, darkish green kind of colour. They're just my blending brushes to do them with. I'm going to be using my... If you can see that let's move those so you can my dolphins not the whole thing just the dolphins um, and I'm going to be using my um, moon stroke sun over the water lost my voice then over the water uh, a5 card 15 centimeters by 21 uh the matte layer 13 and a half by 19 and a half and my topper 13 by 19 so they will sit like that it looks a bit tatty there i'll give that a quick trip where's my scissors probably rushed it through me trimmer a bit too quick yep there are no fluffy edges so that will sit like that once done so Right then, where to start? I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to use this mask. Whereas I would normally use the other half, this time I'm going to use this half. And I'm going to spray the back of it. Just to keep it in place with this fast tack spray glue, repositional, repositionable. Bear with me a second. Can't see what I'm doing. There you go. Let's hope it, it is repositionable. It's supposed to be, so. And I'm going to stick that on there. We'll see where it goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right. That's now in place. So now I'm going to give these inks a try. And I want to have a little bit of pink in the clouds there. I've got a darkish sky, but I want a bit of pink. Push that down. Get that blending. There we go. Little bit of pink in my sky. A bit here and there. As a sky often does. Have a bit of pink. I'll do it around the moon as well because that looks pretty. And then there would be some reflection in the water, wouldn't there? So we'll have a bit in the water as well. Right. Now I'm only really mixing the green and the blue to get the darker effect. We're probably not really, not got anything really darker than that. Right, let's give this bamboo one a try. Oh, that's nice and juicy. Yeah, probably a bit too much. So we'll go easy with it. It's 
So that top line there and then top spike sticking out there, that's going to be my water line. So I want the water to be a bit more green than the sky. do a bit of green up here as well because I just want it to be a bit darker Like I say, it's all trial and error. I mean, everything I do is trial and error anyway. I don't ever do a practice run. I usually just get straight into it and hope for the best. Oh, that one's nice and juicy as well. I we need it. Right. Ah, yeah, it's dropping it off in chunks. Is what it is. the pink on top seems to all be at the front of my brush it's just I just don't trust these bushes anymore they just seem to offload a big pile where you don't want it I think I'm quite happy with that actually. I will see if I can get some more pink on there. I just hope that stencil comes off. Go back with the pink. I'll turn my brush off when you colour bits. So what will be, what will be, will be. A bit of a pinky glow around that moon. not really picking up the pink is it oh, and 
see if I might pick a little bit up. Perhaps I need a new one. Now what I can do there is, let's get me a bit of tissue paper. I'll bleed some of that blue out if I can. So I can put a bit of pink in. See? Should now. Lift that a little bit. Should now be able to put some pink in that. That's just enough to stand out. There we go, we've got some pink in the cloud in there. That's the colour I was aiming for. That's worked out better than I expected it to actually. So that's all good. Clean that off my fingers as I get it everywhere else. Right, so. Peel that off there. I'm not worried about no. Oh, not worried about it leaving a bit of glue on there, but I don't want it to pull my paper apart. It looks like it's going to. It's supposed to be repositional, repositionable. Yeah, that's not good stuff. I won't be using that again then. Won't be using that again. <laughs> Not very good stuff that is it? A bit too strong I think. Now I'm going to have to stick that down. So what I'm going to do is, it'll wash off anyway, so I can get it off me. Me, me mask and whatnot because it'll wash, it'll uh, come off in soapy water. I'm going to put that there. I am going to use it again. First of all, to stick that down. Now, I don't know if this is going to work with flakes. I'm going to give it a go. Let me just cover that piece over. Don't want it to go over that piece there. Has it gone all over? I think it has. Right, so I'll give that a minute to dry off a little bit. desk while I'm waiting. Yeah, that's definitely got some sticky on there, isn't it? Right. So let's just I'm going to let that dry off a little bit. In the meantime, let's just get this off of here. I'm using baby wipes for this. Let's see if it comes off all right. Not brilliant. I wouldn't advise anybody to use this. No, I have to cut myself a new one. Hey ho. I think I'll put 
got another one somewhere knocking about anyway. Like that should be most. I want the sky to be dry though because I don't want my flakes to stick to my sky. I think you've got that many now. I had it a minute ago, I had it right at the front here. with a spare one somewhere. Yeah, I know that's stuck to that. <clears throat> right. <sighs> we'll use this one. Sticking to my packet. I know I'm stuck today, am I? Everything I've done today has gone wrong. Right, that can go on there. Is that the wrong way around? Yes, it is. That means I'm going to get flakes all stuck to this as well now. Then I'm just going to place that there. I'm going to get my Aurora flakes and a piece of paper. you in the middle of there these are beautiful look at these I love this color it's lovely blue and silver I think this is gonna look way pretty right so I'll just spread them out a little bit I use my scooch it's easier Covered all your sticky. Normally, I would use my double sided paper, but um, I spotted this earlier. I normally use it for my brother mat, my brother scan and cut mat for re gluing it, but I thought, seeing as it's there, I'll give it a try. I've never tried it before for anything like this. So. It has worked. But it sticks to everything else as well, so wouldn't highly recommend it, like I said before. I'll go there. So now I have my beautiful moon, my beautiful silver moon. Look at that. And also, actually, I'll get bring that back again. I'm going to let's just wipe them bits off there. Look at the cam. Put that back there. 
then I'm going to use my white to fill in these bits here. So I've made my sponge go down the hole now. Sort that out later. I'm going to stencil my lines in. I think it needs to be there as well, and there, and across there. Let's have a little look at that. See today, right, so there's my moon over the water. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah, flakes off there, flakes everywhere. Okay, so then now what I want to do is put that to one side, take the dolphins out. Now I want to do one black, first of all, a bit of scrap, oh no, that's that sticky bit. <clears throat> going to do them black first of all, then I'm going to go over in parts with this. I'm going to try it and then I'm going to fussy cut them out. So let's see. Let's get the black soot. I suppose I should put a bit of tape on that to stop it moving, shouldn't I? Don't mind if it goes anywhere else because it's going to get cut, cut around anyway, so let's just start that moving a bit. Mm, they're a bit wonky, aren't they? A bit wobbly. Dark enough. I 
over there, haven't we? I'm getting covered today. I've been getting in a right mess today, haven't I? Flakes and all sorts of stuff. And sticky glue that's turned out to be a load of all rubbish. There you go. Let's peel that off there. I'm going to cut them out before I try and apply that blue polish to them. So um, I'm going to keep that white line on there, I think. It'll give me a... Separate some from everything else with the, with the white edge on it. Excess chalk floating about in the way. Nearly got your tail off then. It's good if you can leave a millimetre or two of white around anything that you're cutting out. Just makes them stand off a bit, off your page a bit. Makes them stand out a bit rather than just blending right in. With it being quite a darkish background anyway. We need to see our dolphins. Do that. Right, let's get rid of that one out of the way. So that's going to be there. I was thinking of putting them right up in the foreground like that. But first of all, you know, dolphins have that lovely sheen to their bodies. I was thinking of doing it with it, put some of this on there, see if we can get it to sparkle. I only need a tiny little bit. I'm going to go easy with it because I want it to. Oh, yay! Yep, that's definitely putting a shine on it. Can you see that? See the difference between it now? Gives it that lovely sheen. Lovely. Lovely. I wonder if I'd have been better off putting on with a little brush or something actually, or something a bit smaller than this. But let's give it a go. Let's try and let's do it on the other one.
And there they both are. Two lovely blue shining dolphins. Pick it up. There. You can pop back in there. Easy washable when your sponge is dirty. It's hard to get out, this one. Bit of warm soapy water, wash that straight out. Even if it dries on, you'll still get it out. Beautiful stuff. So then, we shall place this on our card. Now, Faithful glue. Sorry, you got your glue right up the up to the camera there. Let's get that in place. Looks better than that one, not it? Same with this. Tiny little black border around it. Nose can go on some of these buds. One up in that fin, one up in that fin. Bits of flakes stick into it. Okay, and I'm going to use a bleed proof white. My fine tiny little paintbrush. Might be a bit much on that. Huh?
What's that? And there you have it. Two swimming dolphins swimming in an early evening sky. How's that then? Actually, I think we'll put some more. Here's a bit more of this white. We'll. Uh, Extend the horizon, there you go. That. Maybe the odd star or two. I don't know if that will flick off there. No, it's not wet enough. There you go. And I hope you enjoyed that little demo. One or two hiccups along the way, as I discovered. Like I say, everything's trial and error. Sometimes it goes like a dream, sometimes it doesn't. But there you go. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye.